How do you ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my second video on the AS90 British self-propelled howitzer which I am constructing for the international scale modeler Steel Rain SIG. As you can see before me I have a wonderfully printed out instruction manual which I have simply got the one that came with the kit which has got a bit of uh, dam damage, scanned it onto the computer and then printed it off. The main reason I wanted it is so that I had something to read when I wasn't kind of like at the desk and with the model. And I say read, but I mean more like look at the instructions, try and see if there's anything coming up that I might struggle with. But then I realized that as I have a fair bit of photo etch for my first model and I have no idea what I'm doing with it and where it goes. And when you look over the instructions on photo etch, they're quite good in showing you how to put the photo etch together, but it doesn't really show you where on the model it goes as such. It will show you what little piece that it goes on or replaces on the actual vehicle itself. But when you're looking at the whole vehicle as a whole, you're kind of like, um, yeah, okay then. So I decided that I'd print it off and use it. If I go to this one is it up yes this one and i would start looking for the pieces on the model on the instructions and then kind of corresponding them to the photo etch and giving them the numbers that they've got on the actual photo etch sheet so if we have a look at this if without knocking the camera and if i can come into focus you'll see that up here we've got pieces that need to be removed because i wrote removed by them give them a good circle I believe these will in, assist in putting on the photo etch mud flaps that are in the kit as well. On this side, you'll see a small canister. If you can just zoom in a little bit. I don't actually know what that's for on the vehicle itself. But you'll see that I've kind of penned out or coloured in uh, part of it in red. These are parts that need to be removed. And underneath you'll see the number 56, which is the photo etch piece, which will replace what I have cut off and there is also a piece on it that wraps around the canister as if it's kind of tied with a belt and buckle if we go a bit further down you'll see there's a bit more to be done on this section up here is a uh, where the, the I think these are the rear I'd say that these are the rear uh, mud flaps I haven't corresponded different numbers for the photo etch kit on this simply because it looks like I'm going to be replacing a whole lot so there's just no point because I just follow the instructions on the photo etch kit. Down here we've got a little bit more going on I've got to replace a number of pieces I've got RP for where it needs to be replaced with the corresponding number a little bit more to be removed on there if I can focus in if it focuses is it going to? No. Oh there we go so you can see that I've got bits to replace, bits to add and add on. And on the right hand side, no, that's the wrong side, this side, I'm getting confused with the mirror on the camera. I think I said in the last video, if it's in HD, it doesn't actually go the way you think it's going. It's the complete opposite. I've actually put some notes so that if I forget what my actual numbers and circles mean on the actual instructions itself as this will be done over a number of months then I've got that little bit of reference to try and give me some guidance we've got a bit more on this section sorry if it goes blurry but I can't help it's the autofocus otherwise I just can't show you at all you'll see here come on focus there we go we've got got to remove these parts where the front mud flaps go up in this section here we've got the grills now i've seen some people when they've been putting grills on that they kind of take out the grills that are already on the tanks that they're doing it whereas on these instructions it doesn't tell you to actually do that it seems as if it's just telling you to stick them on the top so i'll be hitting up gav 0909 and seeing what he actually did see if he actually cut them out or whether he left them in place and just stuck them over the top over here you'll see some blue blue dots this is where photo etch needs to be added where there wasn't anything in the first place it's kind of we're going to be putting something on there i don't know what yet and that is to make it more realistic but i believe the kit would probably just have you stick the piece on so we're going to have some brackets i think that is so you'll be holding something up on there 
and we've got the same same down here more blue bits where pieces weren't originally and this is going to be extras and i think the last bit i've done so far there's actual three pages of photo etch in front and back and i've done two sheets of paper so far so i've got half to go but this is going to be a long way off yet anyway this is the cage that goes on the top of I, I don't know what you would officially call it but it is like a cage type thing with no top and in the trumpet kit all these sections are separate whereas in the photo etch itself they're all one so that's what the arrows are to kind of indicate that I, I'll need to be doing some bending to get them all in place and then we've got the mesh which you would cut out with the mesh sheet that they give you um, but we actually have some photo etch which will be more like this and that's pretty much it really oh the other thing is if gav if you're watching i've seen a work in progress build where the guy has actually put a styrene base underneath this because his explanation is that on the real vehicle there is no uh, cage on top of the hull itself there's a kind of like a thin base that goes underneath this did you happen to do that or have you just literally stuck it on the top just just for reference really just to see um how good it looks and that that's pretty much it really i just thought i'd show you what i'm doing give you a bit of an update so that you can see that i'm actually doing something although i haven't actually started the model yet but having a look at the photo edge kits i realized that i can actually start and do the suspension and the wheels because they have nothing to do with the photo etch and there is no photo etch for them so that's probably something i'll be starting not long after i've done this video and uploaded it and taken some nice pictures so thank you very much for watching if you like the video please like and subscribe and all that fancy stuff and until next time enjoy yourselves